So today I'm going to discuss problem four of ICAM two zero twenty two. Consider all six digit numbers. Made of only three digits. A, B, and C. That is, I have take any three distinct digits A, B, C, and make all six digit numbers like using three digits using these three digits. And we are given that sum of all six numbers is that thing: five nine three nine 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 four zero six. So now I'm dividing the three digit number A, B, C by hundred. So like I have different choice of A, B, C, and for that like different remainders you can pick. So I'm asked that. What is the maximum remainder I can generate? So let's begin. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. How many six digit numbers are there? I have six digit numbers. This each place can each place can be occupied by either A or B or C. Three options for each place. This also has three, this also has three, this also has three. All places has three options. So we have total three to the power six such numbers. That is seven twenty nine ninety. That's one. Yeah. Oh, let's see. So I have six places. Now each place can be uniformly occupied by A, B, or C. Like if I have A and you have random digits here, I can replace it by B. And it will be also a valid representation. You can also replace by C. That will also valid such number. So like A, B, and C occur each, like A, B, and C occur in each place equal number of times. Like I consider all these numbers. Like if I consider all such numbers that end with A, and all such numbers that end with B and all such numbers that end with C, the number of such numbers is same. Because you have a bijective correspondence between these numbers. Like if it has A replaced by B, you will get a corresponding number ending with B. This is not for only this place. This, this is also valid for any place. Like number of times a particular digit in a place is equal for all A, B, C. So let's do this place, first place. So A, B, C occurs same number of times in first place among all 722, sorry, 729 session numbers. Like I have all 729 numbers and I count them and what is their first digit. So we get that number of all such numbers that that has first place A and number of such number of all possible numbers that has first place B and number of all such possible numbers among the 70 20, 29 numbers that has first place they are all same. That means A occurs F time, X times and B occurs X times and C occurs also F times. Like ABC occurs X times. In the total, three of the numbers like three x times. No, all of them occur the number of times, all of them occur the, exactly the number of all possible numbers that I can generate. That is 729. Because, see, like all numbers are characterized characterized by their first place. So if I count all possible first case 
first place numbers like this will give you all possible numbers that I can generate all six digits and that is 720. So 3x is 729. So x is 3 to the power 5. That is 243. That is in the first place, each of ABC occurs exactly 243 times. Not in first place, in any place. We have six places like this. In all of the six places, each ABC, each digit occurs exactly 243 times. Like you make a counter and generate all the 729 numbers and Mark the third position and see which number is occurring how many times. So you see that A is occurring exactly 240 times, B is also occurring exactly 240 times, C is also occurring exactly 240 times. Okay. Now we are given that sum of all such numbers is like a big digit. Now, how I can generate sum of all such numbers? Let's see. Let's A, A, B, A, C, C. What is this? Like this is a six digit number. Expand it in like that. So this is first place plus second place into 10 plus third place into 10 squared plus up to last place into this will be multiplied by 10. This is 10 squared. This so should be multiplied by 10 to the power 5. Up into the power 5. So any such number is generated by. So any number looks like how this one. Any such six digit number. Looks like in this one. Some number plus some number into 10, the first type, plus some number into 10 squared, plus dot dot dot, plus some number into 10 to the power 5. This places, this can be occupied by either A, B, or C. It doesn't matter. Like all numbers look in this. So all such numbers are was generated by like placing random ABC in all these places and we'll get all different representations. Now we need to sum them in a clever way. How can we sum? Let's do a more simpler thing first. Let's consider all three digit numbers that look like this. That is, I have three places. Each can be occupied by either ABC. That is, we have three cube. 27 all possible such three digit numbers and each each digit occurs in each place by three cube by three that is nine times like a occurs in the first place nine times occurs in each digit place nine times now how so all such numbers how do they look like? They look like something plus something into 10 plus something into 10 square. And this all something is generated by ABC, putting them random. I have to sum all of them for this way. Suppose, so sum of them mean, means what? This will be look like sum, sum, sum over all choices of ABC plus 10 times sum over all choices of ABC. That's 10 squared times all choices of ABC. See, like for example, like if ABC is, like for ABC, it is, uh, okay, C plus 10 into B plus 10 squared into C, 10 squared into A. CCA is uh, A plus 10 into C plus 10 squared into C. Like, try to generate all possible things. Like dot, 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 let's say ACB, that is B plus 10 into C plus 10 squared into A. Then AAA, A, A plus 10 into A plus 10 squared into A. And like, suppose you have generated all this like 
exactly 27 numbers. Now what do you sum them? Like sum them each in each place wise. Sum them like that. This gives you like how many times like you place all possible choices of ABC that can occur, just sum them. It is like sum over A plus B like land number. Plus 10 into the same thing. Plus 10 square into the same thing should be summed. Because see, each A occurs in so like, like what will be this sum? This sum is actually this will be like random sum of A, B, and C. Like what is the randomness? Like how many, like how many A's are summed? How many B's are summed? How many C's are summed? See, A occurs nine times. So in each summation, like I have to place A in nine times here, like in random order, however I place them. In the, this is the first place. In the first place, A must occur nine times. Similarly, B must occur nine times. So like this random is generated by in which order you place them. But the sum is irrelevant because they're summing them. Order doesn't matter. So each occur nine times. So however I sum them, I'll get nine A's. And exactly I'll get nine B's and exactly I'll get nine C's. It doesn't matter however I sum them. In the first place, A, A is exactly occurring nine times, B is exactly occurring nine times, C is exactly occurring nine times. The sum is exactly nine into A plus A plus C. However I place it. Similarly, the second place also same, last place is also same. This total sum will become what? Nine into A plus B plus C into 1 plus 10 plus 10. Now we can simplify it. Keeping this thing in mind, let's do the general case for six digit numbers. Numbers are like this. First place, plus second place into 10, plus third place into 10 square, plus up to, okay, plus fourth place into 10 cube, plus fifth place into 10 to the power 4, plus sixth place into 10 to the power 5. So now I gen, like on, like for example, like A, A, B, A, B, B is B plus 10 into B plus 10 square into A plus total dot 10 to the power 5 into B. And let's say I just randomly generate, like randomly enumerate all of them. Let's say A, C, C, B, A, C. That is C plus 10 into A plus 10 square into B. Let's sort of 10 to the power 5 into A. So now add all of them and like do the sum place wise. Like this is your all occurrences of the first slot. This is all occurrences of the second slot. This is all occurrences of the third slot. This is all occurrences of the sixth slot. This will be sum all of them. Plus 10 times sum, sum of all of them. Plus 10 squared times sum of all of them. Plus up to 10 to the power 5 times sum of all of them. Well, what is this sum again? This is the same same logic as before. This is sum of all occurrences of because this I am I am placing the ABC digits randomly. So like so the sum of all occurrences of the first digits ABC can take place. Occurrences of ABC in the first place. Now A is exactly occurring 2, 4, 2, 3 times. B is also occurring 2, 4, 2, 3 times. The C is occurring also 2, 4, 3 times. This total thing is occurring 2, 4, 2, 3 into A plus B plus C times. This is the total sum that it can be. So now the my, so now the simplified, what is the total sum? I can take 2, 4, 3 into A plus B plus C common. It should be 1 plus 10 plus 10 to the 2. Sorry, 10 to the 5. Now, this is a GP series. You can manipulate it. This is 10 to the power 6 minus 1 by 9. That is what is 10 to the power 6? 10, 10 square 10 to the power 4. 10, 10 square 10 to the power 5. 10 to the power 6. So, it should be. Minus one from there, it will just like nine 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 one. It should be nine 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 nine. And now I'm dividing by nine, so it should be one 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 one. So like you can easily see, this is one 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 one. 
So this total sum becomes sum of all such numbers. Is one 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 two 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 forty three into eight to the speed less. Now in the question you are given that what is it? What the sum is? That is five nine three triple nine four zero six. This thing is that five nine three triple nine four zero six is one 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 into two forty three to the speed less. Now we can simplify. Divide by one 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 five nine three. Triple nine four zero six. We can. This calculation can be done. It is not hard. Like let's multiply by five first. This is five 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 five. Means two three 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 three. So how many times did we lost? One, two, three. So after there should be four. There should be four multiplied by four. Four, 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 four. Okay, I think I have messed up the calculation somewhere. Anyway, like you can do the calculation by yourself, and the answer should be for this C. This is just some calculation. So from there, you can get A plus B plus C to B. Just do the calculation. A plus B plus C should be twenty-two. Like this division, it should be remain twenty-two four three into twenty-two something like that. A big number. I'm not doing the calculation. Anyway. So we just need to generate random. So this is the only condition we have: a, b, c, and different, and a plus b plus c is twenty-two. So now I'm dividing three-digit number a, b, c by hundred. Now what is the remainder if I divide a number by hundred? What remainder we get? Last two digits. Like if I divide any number seventy-nine by ten, I get nine. The last digit. Similarly, divide any number three, seven, eight, nine, four. You'll get the last two last two digits as the remainder. If we divide by hundred, so now I think A B C is a three-digit number. So the its remainder modulo hundred. It is just this two-digit number B C. That is, this is the remainder you get. Now you only need to just you need to maximize the two-digit number B C. This is the maximum remain. This is the remainder. So you, you need to maximize it. You only need you only have one condition that A not equal to B equal not equal to C. And a plus b plus c equal to twenty two. Now you can do it. See, one possible thing is b c is a two digit remainder, so we need to find the largest two digit remainder. So take the largest two digit number that is ninety nine. But we're given that b c are not equal, so we cannot take that. So b c cannot be equal. So let's reduce c, make it ninety eight. That is a possible, and we are done. This is what we want. For example. We have a plus b plus is twenty two, so b plus c is nine plus eight seventeen, so a is five. So in that case, my a b c will be in base ten. It should be five ninety eight, and that is the answer. Chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics, and they are personalized with one on one training, individual evaluation, and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last ten years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympians from leading universities in India, United States, and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR, and IISC. For more information. Visit Chinta.com.